In the near future, our lifestyles will be changed by things so small that the best microscopes in the world can barely see them. This is the world of nanotechnology, where things we think we know about start behaving very differently when we start working with them on the nanoscale. Here at the DST and Mintech Nanotechnology Innovation Center, we are starting to make what was once believed impossible, possible. Where ideas are developed into life-changing products. Nanotechnology Innovation Center is a national facility that's geographically spread across South Africa, undertaking research, development and innovation to address socio-economic challenges utilizing nanotechnology. So what is a nanoparticle? It's a piece of material less than 100 nanometers across in at least one direction. To give you an idea of how small this is, take a strand of air from your head. A hair is about 100,000 nanometers thick. A nanoparticle is a thousand times smaller than the width of a human hair. All ideas need to start somewhere. Here at Mintech, we refer to the innovation chain. The magic starts by discovering what happens when we work with a substance at the nanoscale. For example, gold, which we know as a shiny non-magnetic metal used for jewelry, exhibits strange new properties at the nanoscale. And with new properties come new applications. There's a world of new possibilities waiting to be discovered. Common rust, known scientifically as iron oxide, is seen on a daily basis around the world. But by using sophisticated computer models and equipment here at Mintech, we are researching how to make iron oxide nanoparticles with cancer-fighting properties. These nanoparticles are directed to tumor cells inside the body of a patient and energized with a magnet outside the body. This creates enough heat to destroy the cancerous tumor cells without harming the patient. The next step in the innovation chain is the test phase, where a nanomaterial becomes part of a functioning system such as a therapeutic drug or a water filter. Gold nanoparticles have some very special properties and we are using them to do many things like making treatments for cancer and obesity. For example, Gold nanoparticles can be designed to target cancerous tumors or fat tissue in the body. They prevent new blood cells from forming, so there is no blood supply for new fat or cancer cells, which stops them from growing. Sadly, many South Africans don't have access to clean drinking water. Cheaper, better nanotech water filters could go a long way to providing solutions for the water challenges in our country. Mintech is focusing on adding nanoparticles to filtration membranes. For example, the addition of magnesium oxide nanoparticles can give a filter antibacterial properties which makes water safer for human consumption by preventing transmission of waterborne diseases such as cholera. Using gold nanoparticles, the center has developed a way to detect diseases like malaria in a quick, simple and economical way. The diagnostic tests work much like a pregnancy test, giving a yes or no answer or as a glucose sensor giving a value when there's malaria in the blood. The system is tested and engineered until it works optimally. The yes or no product has been fully developed and tested and our state-of-the-art clean rooms are used to scale up production of the diagnostic devices. The rooms are highly sterile and designed to ensure there are no contaminants floating around in the air. Currently, most malaria diagnostic tests are supplied by overseas countries, but this is a way for South Africa to step into this market. Our job is done. Now we need to get our inventions to the people who need them the most. To distribute these tests in an affordable way for the public is the final hurdle to jump. Scientists can research products up to a point, but once a product works, some advanced engineering and industrialization is needed to take it to market. The Nanotechnology Innovation Centers create an environment conducive for innovation. 
taking advantage of what nanotechnology offers in addressing social and economic challenges we face as a country. The Department of Science and Technology support Mintech's work in developing new products and new services in water and in health in line with the National Nanotechnology Strategy. By opening up spaces such as these, which were once seen as exclusive, we aim to have diverse audiences see their contribution, whether this be aspiring youth, other researchers or members of industry. The small world of nanotechnology is going to make a vast impact on the world we live in. But it won't just be scientists making that impact. How can you be part of the change?